Hello there. In this video, we are going to talk about WD My Passport external hard drive, the printed circuit board repair, and the disk data recovery. For this case, the printed circuit board number is 2060-80067-001, revision P1. The hard drive model number is WD20SMZW-11JW8S1. Part 1. The hard drive printed circuit board repair. How the hard drive printed circuit board works in a computer. The data is stored in the hard drive. The computer accesses the data through the hard drive printed circuit board. Three common methods to fix a hard drive printed circuit board. 1. Clean the contacts. 2. Swap the printed circuit board. 3. Repair the printed circuit board. Cleaning the contacts on the printed circuit board and the hard drive can fix the problem caused by the poor connection between the printed circuit board and the hard drive. Fixing the hard drive printed circuit board method 2 the printed circuit board swap. 1. Find the correct donor board. 2. The printed circuit board firmware transfer. Printed circuit board swap step 1. Find the correct donor printed circuit board. Find out the hard drive brand name and the model number on the hard drive front label. Find out the printed circuit board number of the hard drive. The picture 1 shows the printed circuit board number location of this model hard drive. Different printed circuit boards. The printed circuit board number locations are different. Picture 2 shows some printed circuit board number locations of the different PCBs. If you want to find out your own PCB number, you may go to www.hdd-parts.com which lists most of the PCB information in detail. Go to www.hdd-parts.com in the search box Input the hard drive model number and the PCB number, then search. The donor board is found. Finding the donor board is only the first step. The next step is to transfer the original board firmware to the donor board. Then, the donor board can work on the original hard drive. Transfer the PCB firmware from the original PCB to the donor PCB. What is the hard drive printed circuit board firmware transfer and why? 1. One hard drive printed circuit board includes two parts, hardware and firmware. Hardware means the components and the printed circuit board. Firmware, also called BIOS, are the data inside of the chip. 2. The firmware includes hard drive's unique configuration data. The hard drive needs this unique configuration data to work. So, we have to transfer this 
unique configuration data from the original board to the donor board. Then the donor board can work on the original hard drive. We call this as hard drive printed circuit board firmware transfer. Three things regarding the hard drive printed circuit board firmware transfer. One, the printed circuit board firmware transfer is different from the hard drive firmware upgrading. The printed circuit board firmware transfer is to transfer the printed circuit board firmware from one board to another board. Two, hard drive firmware upgrading is to upgrade the hard drive's own firmware. It nothing to do with another hard drive or another printed circuit board. Three, we can do the printed circuit board firmware transfer from the physically damaged printed circuit board, like burned, watered, or even other kinds of damages. Our printed circuit board firmware transfer success rate is more than 95%. We do the printed circuit board firmware transfer for our clients for free. What will happen if we do not transfer the printed circuit board firmware? For this model hard drive, if we put the donor board onto the hard drive without doing the printed circuit board firmware transfer, the hard drive will spin, but the computer will not detect the hard drive. We received many questions regarding the hard drive PCB firmware transfer and hard drive PCB compatibility. So let's talk a little bit more about this in general. The hard drive PCB firmware is also called hard drive PCB BIOS. Some PCB firmware are in the independent memory chip like picked one shows. The memory chip may be one or two. Some PCB firmware are integrated into the main IC like a picture two shows. Most of the modern hard drive PCBs need to do the PCB firmware transfer before swapping the PCB. Even the donor boards are identical with the original boards in hardware. The picture 3 shows some of these boards. But there are some hard drive PCBs do not need the PCB firmware transfer. As long as the donor boards are identical with the original boards, you can swap the board directly. The picture 4 shows some of these boards. How can we help you to find the donor PCB? 1. Use your cell phone to take pictures of your hard drive and the PCB. 2. Email the pictures to hddparts at gmail.com or text the pictures to 604-762. 6359. You will receive the donor PCB information as soon as we can. This picture shows how the clients ship their PCBs to us. 1. Make a cardboard folder. 2. Tape the PCB to the cardboard folder. 3. Write down your order number, email address, phone number, and the shipping address on the cardboard folder. 4. Insert the cardboard folder into a bubble mailer. 5. Seal the bubble mailer seal firmly. The procedure to fix a hard drive PCB. 1. The clients send the PCB to us. 
to refix the PCB. For example, find the donor PCB and do the PCB firmware transfer. 3. We ship the PCB to the clients. Fixing PCB method 3. Repair the PCB. This picture shows the basic components and their functions on the PCB. You may take this picture as reference to fix your own PCB. This picture shows some regular components on the printed circuit board. Motor contact loose problem. Symptom. The motor can spin but cannot reach its full speed. Cause. Loose motor contacts. Solution. Resolder replace the loose contacts or replace the PCB. Here is the sound from the loose motor contacts problem hard drive. Motor IC problem Symptom The motor IC is overheat or the hard drive does not spin. Possible reason The motor IC is bad. Solution Replace the motor IC. Note Replacing the motor IC only can fix the bad motor IC problem. If the hard drive PCB other part got problem or the hard drive itself got problem, replacing the motor IC will not help. Part 2. Disk Data Recovery Quick Data Recovery Tips 1. Try the hard drive on different devices, like external hard drive adapters, enclosures, or computers, because different devices read the hard drive with different ways. Sometimes this trick works. 2. Swap the PCB Swapping the PCB is another easy way to rescue a hard drive. If you see some obvious damage on the PCB, like burned mark, no spin, power surge, you may want to try swapping the PCB first. 3. Swapping the PCB also can tell if it is the PCB problem or the hard drive problem. This picture shows how to use a fan to cool down the hard drive. How to cool down the overheat chips which are under the PCB. 1. Locate the overheat chips. For example, the motor IC and the main IC. 2. Put the heat sink pad on the top of the overheat chips. Disk firmware corruption. Symptom. The hard drive spins fine, but the computer cannot see the hard drive, and even the software-based data recovery tools cannot see the hard drive as well. Possible reason Disk firmware corruption Recommendation Try disk firmware repair tools like PC3000 or others. The following is the sound from one of the hard drive which experienced disk firmware corruption. It sounds like a good hard drive, but the computer cannot detect hard drive. This picture shows the procedure how we do data recovery for our clients. First, the client send their hard drive to us. 
Second, we do the recovery. Third, we ship back the data to our clients. Fusion Drive. What is Fusion Drive? Fusion Drive is Apple Inc.'s name for its implementation of a hybrid drive. One Fusion Drive equal one SSD drive plus one regular hard drive. Usage. Frequently used data is stored in the SSD drive. Less frequently used data is stored in the regular hard drive. Data recovery requirement. In order to do data recovery, both the SSD drive and the regular hard drive are needed. Do I have a Fusion drive? This table listed all the Macintosh computers which used the Fusion drive. Thank you so much for taking your precious time to watch my video. Any comments are really appreciated. If this video is a little bit of help, could you please click on like to support me? Thank you again. Bye.